and good morning everybody welcome to Rayatea this beautiful island here still in French Polynesia we are literally just down the road the island right next door is Bora Bora so it's like literally I see one way kind of in the distance um, not sure if that's it or one of these other neighboring ones because it's multiple areas around here of land but it is absolutely beautiful here it's so far sunny warm like in the 70s or something like that so it's very comfortable out here some cool like Polynesian buildings here. I'm not sure we'll figure out what those are in a minute. There's like some shops right there. And just a small little village right here on this part of the island. It's absolutely beautiful though, right here. Now I'm gonna go head on down to the Lido deck right below us, get some breakfast, head on outside, see if we can find an excursion or something from some of the locals. And maybe we'll get a good deal. If not, we'll just wander around this beautiful area of the island which looks gorgeous so i'm excited to um, tour the area tomorrow we'll still be at this location because we're here overnight but tomorrow i have drift snorkeling which will be very interesting they drop you off at one end and obviously you drift snorkel to the other end and i think they do it three times or so in that area or different areas i'm not sure we'll find out tomorrow on our excursion through holland america here on the island but right now yeah let's go get some breakfast head on outside and tour this wonderful area it is windy. We just got off the ship. It just finished doing a downpour of rain here. And it is still, I don't know if you can hear me through the microphone because it is beyond windy right now. Um, but at least it's only drizzling now and not pouring like it was um, just a few minutes ago. We made it off the ship and it was super windy. The rain is a little bit of a drizzle now because it was a downpour just a few minutes ago. So a lot of people went back to the ship and everybody's hiding in these little uh, buildings here. Right now we're at the tourist information area where there's sun tours, doing rental cars, all kinds of little things right here at the tourist information um, area, which is literally, there's the ship right there in the background and we're like five feet away. So we're gonna, before it gets to pouring again, that's drizzling a little bit, we're gonna go and see a little bit of the area before it starts pouring again. And tomorrow we still have drift snorkeling. It's supposed to be a little bit prettier tomorrow, so hopefully it does um, get sun tomorrow. But right now we're just gonna make the best of it enjoy what this beautiful island has to offer. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Looks like we made it to the edge of town, at least where all the main stuff is. We're here at this roundabout right here. And of course there's a gas station here and a gas station really on the other end of town of this main strip here. So pretty much everything else I guess would be more of a vehicle that you would need to get around. Because I'm not going to be walking through all that. But anyway, we're going to head back to this ship and see what else we're going to do. Alright, catch you guys in a few. I walked right past, right back there, there's a whole um, building full of different murals which is very interesting. Hope you enjoyed all the little pictures of the um, different artwork that they have here. Enjoying this brisk walk here. It hasn't rained in a while, so we've been very lucky. I walked pretty far way back there. It was just ocean and houses on one side, so I didn't record any of that stuff. But now we're heading back to the ship and calling it a day because tomorrow we have an exciting drift snorkeling still on this island somewhere wherever the boat takes us so i'm super excited about that but right now i'm gonna put the camera down head back to the ship get some food and just kind of relax the rest of the day maybe come back out here and wander around a little bit more but until then i'll see you guys tomorrow you take care it's day two here on the island and we are getting ready to do our snorkeling adventure it's the drift snorkeling somewhere on the island i'm not sure where they're gonna take us but everybody's loading up right here waiting for the last of the people come off the ship and then we're gonna head over to see some hopefully some fun corals and animals so I will see you I guess when we get on the boat well we made it to the boats and this is it we got 
got three boats tied to each other and we're gonna, I guess they're just gonna load us on one by one and head on out to the drift area. <laughs> got my fins, got my snorkel. We're getting um, everything signed up and everything ready so we can take off to the beach and do some drift snorkeling. So next time you see me, I will be heading to the beach. Drifting, and we are literally right there's there's Bora Bora right back there. What amazing! We can see the island right behind all these famous Bora Bora cabanas that are right over the water that I've always dreamed of only seeing in magazines. I can actually now say I've seen the actual Bora Bora um, bungalows right there on the water, and they look magnificent. And the water right there, that turquoise, see-through blue, it is just amazing. This is a dream come true. This is been on my bucket list forever I never thought I'd imagine that I'd even be able to be in this kind of place and there's my famous bungalows the water is absolutely beautiful we just got off I'm pretty much one of the last people off the boat and we got our snorkel gear got my GoPro all that stuff we're literally walking through the water to get to our spot and we we'll go through the beach and right now I don't know if you can see behind me there's a million little sea cucumbers all over the place I'm trying to watch where I step so I don't step on any of them but there's a bunch of little sea cucumbers everywhere so, whew, it's so exciting. at the starting point it's literally right there where all those people are um, taking off their shoes and putting their fins on he's gonna thankfully he lets wear the shoes he takes a net and brings all the shoes back because there's a lot of corals and uh sharp rocks and stuff like that so barefooted yeah not good so thankfully we all wore our shoes today and about to get this party started exciting we had a fantastic time drift snorkeling out there right over by Bora Bora we got to see the cool bungalows that you think of when you 
think Bora Bora, so that was amazing with the turquoise blue, beautiful clear waters right there by Bora Bora. Um, the snorkeling was great, we saw all, all kinds of different fish and amenities or however you say it. Lots of things. I did see one big stingray when we first got there, which was really cool. But it was a fantastic trip. Um, great hosts, the captain and his assistant, fantastic people. It was, it was a great day, so I'm so so happy we got to do this and the weather ended up being perfect opposed to yesterday where it started off raining. And I heard the people that did the drift snorkeling yesterday, there the waters were really choppy, so today was the perfect day to come and do this. We're already back in the cabin. Here's the balcony. Ready to shower and everything, got ready to go get some food because I'm starving. It's been a long day at the um, over there in the water, but well worth it. So hope you guys enjoyed our little tour and all the different things we got to see while we're out there. So next time you see me, we'll be in Tonga, will be our next location. So you guys take care. Till next time, safe travels.